How's it going everyone? Javita here with a Forge tutorial. This time we're going to be doing something a little bit more advanced. We're not going to be focusing on making a particular type of equipment. This technique can be used to make anything. It just depends on the gums that you bring along with you and of course what you're actually forging. So I'll throw a link in the description that will give you some information of what each gum will actually target as far as boons. One of the main drawbacks to this particular method is the actual price tag that goes along. It does use boon removal solvent which requires wild stock, corn trophies, and Vigor Catalyst 2, which requires thermal hopper core trophies, both of which are on the semi-rare to expensive side. But enough rambling, let's get down to business. Uh, basically, this strategy focuses around Vigor Catalyst and the Drain Boon Compound, and then basically everything else is here to support that strategy. So if you're unfamiliar, the Vigor Catalyst, what's it, what it's going to do is that for every buff up here, so we have buffs uh, that buffs the actual forging process, and then there are boons, which is going to give a boon to the item. So if you're looking at something that's going to give you a buff as far as a forging ingredient, it's going to put it up here and it's going to help you with the forging process. But for every buff and debuff, that's pretty critical here, uh, this Vigor Catalyst is going to give us 50 Vigor for every single stack. Uh, at one point, there's it sounded like there was a bug that the gums weren't counting like the multiple stacks of gums aren't counting so I guess in the process of doing this we'll kind of figure out whether or not uh, that is now working again or if that's still the case we're only getting 50 bigger even if you have like four stacks of the special gum but uh, we'll look into that but so the, the other part of this, the only boon compound we have is this draining boon compound that gives us very little options. However, to get the maximal effects of what we're after, we don't have a lot of choices. So what this does is it gives us right off the bat 1000 boon points, which is pretty nice. However, it does give us five stacks of this vigor drain debuff, which is this right here. So each round that we have a debuff, it'll take one of these counts counters off so if I go to the next round I'll have four but then 50 vigor will be drained away. Uh, if you're unfamiliar almost everything that's worth anything is going to use vigor. Uh, some things will also use stability or actually most things will use stability with a few small exceptions here and there. But you can think of vigor as basically the energy to use cool items. Stability is basically the durability of the item. So in order to stretch out our stability as much as possible, we're going to be using this protection paste. This is going to have the use of our stability. However, there are options out there. We could use a gambling paste, which gives us a 60% chance to take no stability loss, which arguably could be better, but I personally haven't tried it out. Uh, we also have this fate paste that's going to basically make this slider more likely to land in a favorable position and it seems to very strongly uh, favor landing really high on this uh, if it somehow misses which it's really not possible with the uh, boon compound that we're using uh, then it will re-roll up to three times until it does either land in the yellow or you use up all three rolls so the fade pace is pretty awesome even if you don't have a full bar to work with over here we have room to take up to two gums however for this particular hammer we're going to be targeting three boons so as you can see i already have this devastating damage boon and as you see it's a potential trait at the moment so i could use a setting resin to set this item and no boons would be on it and then i would be able to forge this item again or at least attempt to forge it if i get a boon that i don't want right off the bat i can use this boon removal solvent and it will rip this boon off and once it's either down to a potential trait or no trait at all then we can use a setting resin and then basically just rinse and repeat so I think it took me about nine tries uh, but once I have this boon now I can start forging as normally so basically what I want to do is I want to make a plus damage plus AoE plus durability hammer so I already have the damage boon right there I have the longevity gum to target the durability boon and then the special gum to target the AoE effect 
and of course uh, we might get the loot attraction boon instead and again we can use the boon removal solvent to rip that off however there's other options we could actually use a boon transmutation solvent uh, that could basically just re-roll whatever the boon is it'll be the last applied boon which will be the one highest on the stack here so I haven't tried that out mainly because it requires Roadrunner trophies. I do have enough Roadrunner trophies to craft them. I just haven't been able to bring myself to actually use them just yet. Uh, but it sounds like a pretty awesome thing because this boon removal solvent right here only gives us back 50% of its of the boon points spent into the boon. So basically you only get half of what you spent uh, back. There is a boon removal solvent too that gives you 100% of the boon points back. However, it has double the vigor cost at 200. And I don't really feel that spending that extra 100 vigor is really worth it, especially since these are basically just in case of emergency. Another option you have is that you could go ahead and sacrifice this protection paste and bring a third gum that will allow you to target all three boons you're actually after. And that's arguably maybe a better way to do it. It's at least a little bit more reliable, but you'll get less rounds and less flexibility throughout the forging process. So if you make a mistake or something goes wrong, uh, you have less rounds to try to compensate for it. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, since we got this first boon on here, here we can go ahead and just rip off this debuff because we don't want to waste any vinegar that we don't have to and our next step is to pick one of these other gums and try to target another effect so let's go ahead and activate that And as you can see, those five debuffs paid for the vigor that this item actually used. A little trick that we could could have used is we could have put a fate paste on first, and that would actually give us back a little bit more vigor than we actually used, but at the cost of stability. Uh, but now, let's see here, let's go ahead and get the longevity boon on here. The reason why I like to do longevity next is if we get the damage longevity and then the AOE is on here last, if we accidentally get rank five AOE, then we can use a boon removal solvent and it will remove or undo the last step of the forging, which will be this one right here. Uh, if the AOE was down in the bottom or the middle, it would work on this top boon instead of the last boon that received points. So it's kind of a little oddity there but if we do the AOE boon last then we have a little bit more options in case it goes over that magical threshold Okay, so I went ahead and put three gums. Uh, theoretically, we'll get 50 vigor back for each of those stacks, uh, which is, of course, the vigor we put into it. So be interesting to see if that bug or if it is a bug still exists. But let's see if we can get the longevity uh, boon, or I guess it's the heavy duty. There we go, perfect. So we got four right off the bat there. And let's go ahead and rip all of that off. So before we got 250 Vigor back, so that should be another 300, 400 Vigor if we get credit for all of that. Okay, so we only got credit for one stack. So that's a little bit disappointing. So certainly could have just used one longevity gum. It just would have been more likely that we got our, another random boon in the mix. Let's go ahead. Let's do a couple. How about just... Yeah, let's just do one special boon because really our only option is we're going to get... Uh, either points into here or we're going to get a special boon. I guess we could get a completely random boon, but the end result will still be the same. If it's not the AoE boon, we're using a boon removal solvent to uh, let that re-roll. So let's go ahead and do that. 
now that we've just about got everything lined up, we're actually going to go ahead and use a protection paste. Uh, I use the protection paste first because that's going to mean when I add my fate paste, it's only going to cost half durability. Uh, you could do it the other way around, but it's going to be more expensive as far as stability, which arguably isn't that big of a deal. But the fake pace that lasts for five rounds, where the durability only lasts for uh, four. Okay, so hopefully now we either get the AoE boon or we power up these other boons. But let's see what happens. Oh, nice. Right off the bat, we got exactly what we wanted there. So very, very nice. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get some use out of our boons here and hopefully continue to power up that AoE boon. Or it really doesn't matter what we power up as long as we make sure that we get uh, at least rank 4 of that AoE boon. And really no higher, so... <laughs> there we go, looking very nice. And at this point, hmm... So we could reapply our protection paste to ensure we're continue to use only half of our stability, but hmm, choices, choices. Okay, I guess let's. Well, yeah, we usually have this method. Usually, we end up having a lot more stability than we have vigor. So, we can go ahead, just kind of roll with it. There we go. Now we got rank 4, so ideally we don't want that to go any higher. So we're going to remove all of these uh, buffs and debuffs. There we go. Now we're back up to 1400 vigor, so very nice. And at this point... It'd be nice if we had the, the effect gum, because so far we haven't gotten anything extra into devastating damage. At this point I would normally just kind of throw on the draining boon compound and, and just kind of let it go wherever. Uh, we do, we can use the boon removal solvent to kind of reset this all around our boon, so I guess we can just kind of roll with that. So let's do our protection paste. And then just let the points fly where they want to go. There we go, got some extra durability. There we go, now we're getting the damage. Straight up to rank 4, very nice. And since our protection buff is about to wear out, yeah, let's go ahead. We do need to reserve at least like uh, 350 to 250 if we wanted to like reapply a fate paste and then do the vigor catalyst uh, to try to get back a little extra vigor, then we would need 350. If you're just doing the vigor catalyst, you need 250, unless for some reason you don't have the vigor drain uh, because that this would normally only cost 200. With the vigor drain, it costs an extra 50. So, uh, but let's put our protection paste back on here. Okay, so we got our nice up to 1200 extra durability, so very nice. Uh, we only got one extra fate stack, but that's not a big deal. And yeah, I think what we're probably going to do do one more and then we're going to reset this basically. Okay, so unfortunately that's going into the AoE boon, so that is not ideal by any means. Let's go ahead, how about we do a Fate Paste followed by a Vigor Catalyst. Let's go ahead and reply our protection paste. And our 
are fate based. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, really nice we had an effect gun, but Okay, so we just got the random effect AOE, which of course we don't want. So let's go ahead and rip all of these debuffs and buffs off because last thing we want to do is continue to uh, pay that extra 50 vigor. So let's activate that. Since we're getting so low on stability, this is I'm usually having the opposite problem. I run out of vigor and I don't have enough stability. So let's go ahead and use a protection paste to try to stretch that out as much as possible. There we go, we pulled that back to a rank 4, and the points went back in, but at least it didn't rank it all the way back to a rank 5. So, kind of an uncomfortable game we're playing here now. So I guess we'll go ahead and do another Fate Paste, and just kind of continue and hope for the best. There we go, now we're up to rank six, very nice. So at this point, we could probably just go ahead and call this. Uh, this would probably one-shot rock on a tier five planet, maybe. Uh, if not, we could use a strength potion. We'd probably definitely have to use a strength potion on a tier six planet, but since, um, yeah, we can go ahead. How about we reapply our protection paste and see how much further we can push this and try to save enough that we can use a boon removal solvent if the points go the wrong direction. But we certainly have enough vigor to go a few more rounds. Okay, so that's not, <laughs> that's not nice. So at this point, we have so little stability, it's, I don't think it's really worth uh, trying to reset. So just go ahead and use the boon removal solvent. And see what this brings us. Okay, very nice. So it did go into the devastating damage. Do we have enough? Okay, we got two more stacks of protected. And, but if we use another draining boon compound, we won't be able to undo it. So I think we're gonna have to, at least we did get up to that 40% uh, extra damage and extra 350. So I think we'll just have to be happy with this hammer because if we accidentally go into that AOE boom, we really won't be able to undo it. We'll just have to kind of live with it. Uh, however, it could go into that devastating damage boon or even the durability for that matter, but I don't feel it's worth the risk. 
and so I'll just go ahead and play it safe. So this should be a pretty decent hammer. So we got two sevens and a four there. It would have been nicer if we could have gone more into the damage, but it's not the end of the world. So coming over to the queue, we got, uh, it's only a 310 hammer. That's actually pretty disappointing. <laughs> but we did have to pull points out of the AoE effect twice. So that's pretty, um, that's pretty damaging to the overall process. But all in all, still a pretty decent hammer and we might still have to use a strength potion, but that's not that big of a deal, at least in my book. Uh, this will still perform pretty nicely on both tier five and tier sixes. So pretty nice. So something I might try out in the future is to sub out maybe the longevity gum for the effect gum and just try to get the durability boon on there first or just go ahead and ditch the protection paste and take three different gums and that way I can really kind of focus fire and just micromanage where all the points go. Because with this Vigor Catalyst, you can wipe the boons off and then put a different gum on to target and focus fire the different effects. Certainly there at the end, if I could have put the effect gum on there, I could have focused a lot more of those points into the damage boon instead of accidentally going into the AoE boon or leveling up the longevity boon when we didn't necessarily want it. So. But anyway, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button to subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel, want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Till next time, peace.